We're cooking up some potatoes today. That's right, we're gonna be making some french fries and some crushed crispy potatoes. And we're not just using any potatoes, we're using Yukon Golds. The reason I'm doing french fries and a crushed crispy potato is because the french fries are gonna be deep frying in beef tallow, but one of our guests has a lot of allergies, so I wanna make sure to give an option that's clean, that's not touched by anything else. So I'm gonna be doing a crushed crispy potato. The reason I call it a crushed crispy potato is because I don't really know what the name would be. This is actually a potato recipe or potato cooking method from a cook named Matt, my friend. And he said, what you're gonna do with these is dry roast them in the oven for however long it takes to get them soft, right? Fork tender. After that, you're gonna smash it and then I'm going to basically do kind of a pan fry in beef tallow to make it super crispy. So I'm gonna do that for my guest and for the kids, I'm gonna be doing french fries. So these are french fries that I just washed and cut up with this professional grade you know, potato slicer. You gotta have a lot of strength to do that. Just getting it wet. You're good at that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a pro. Come on now. Look at that. Maybe because they're not as long is not as satisfying. <laughs> Makes perfectly squared, uniformed french fry pieces, so that was nice. You gotta have a lot of strength to do that. Just getting it wet. You're good at that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a pro. Come on now. Look at that. Maybe because they're not as long is not as satisfying. <laughs> and all I'm doing with these are soaking it. Now, ideally, I'd want to make this the day before, but I didn't have enough time. Didn't find out about these allergies till today. And the reason I'm using Yukon Golds versus Russet, because Russet's way better for french fries, I love the flavor of Yukon Golds. So say you're only gonna have the steak and frites. I personally would rather have a flavorful potato. And whenever I buy these frozen, I normally get the Yukon Gold ones. So it's already pre-prepared, it's not that much work. Because of the guest, I wanna make sure to give them the best of the best. So doing, we're doing fresh raw potatoes. I'm gonna prepare them two different ways. Let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, put this on 350. Let that get up to temp. So these Yukon Golds, I've already thoroughly washed these and scrubbed the outsides, but I'm gonna take these little funky parts off. If you don't know, your peeler, like this, has a little scoop at the end that's made specifically for these little rough parts. That's it. That's all I'm doing. These are looking really good, so I don't have to do much. Now, if you ever get roots growing off of these, that's what this would be to get those off. I still use potatoes once they have the roots. Now, if the roots start growing really long, sometimes it tends to change the dynamic or the flavor of the potato, so I don't use them. This is why with potatoes, I don't buy a lot unless I'm buying them from the farmer's market because I find that when you buy a bunch from the grocery store, for whatever reason, they tend to get bad quicker versus when you buy it direct from the farmer, maybe because it's super fresh, you can put it in a dark, cool place and the roots don't grow from them. So a little tidbit. I'm sure you guys have had that experience. You buy a whole bunch of potatoes, you think you're gonna use it for a whole bunch of different dishes, and then you go to the potatoes one or two weeks later, and there's a whole bunch of roots growing already, so. All right, these were pretty clean. So these are ready to go into the oven, just like this. No oil, no salt. I'm just dry roasting them. There you go. Just gonna place them right in the oven. Middle of the rack. Put the timer on for probably, I wanna say, 37 minutes, just because. Next, I'm gonna prepare the french fries. So these have been soaking for about two hours now. Uh, I already soaked them in another bowl of water earlier and removed a lot of the starch. So now I have to dry these. With french fries, you wanna double fry these, but before you do the first fry, they gotta be bone dry. And really the only way to do that is to towel dry them really, really well. Or two, towel dry them and then put them in the freezer. In the freezer, just like with the steaks when I dry ate them in there for one day, it's gonna remove a lot of the moisture, especially on the outside. And the third way is to use one of these. Now, I've never really seen anybody do this, 
this is a solid spinner. So I'm gonna do this in addition to towel drying them so that you get a super dry french fry before I do the first fry. Look at that. This way I know I'm removing as much moisture as possible because look at that. There's a whole bunch that came out of there. So I'll do that for the rest of them and then I'll go outside to start deep frying them. All right, time to go outside. All right, so I've got my Dutch oven on my convection stove here. The good thing about beef tallow is a lot of people that are allergic to other types of oils or even dairy for butter usually can eat beef tallow. Plus, if you're going to eat a steak, this is coming right out of the steak. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Also, it makes for a very, very, very crispy French fry. Yes. So I want the oil to be at 305 degrees. Right now it's a little hotter, which is totally fine because I'm gonna have to do a lot of deep frying. I'm gonna start with just a handful, put it in the spider. For deep frying, you have to have one of these, honestly. This takes a while, so you're gonna have to be patient, plan this out. Ideally, I would do this the day before. You don't wanna overload your oil. Probably just do maybe two and a half. We'll see how that goes. Set the timer for five minutes. There we go. Right now what's happening is we're just partially frying these. Our goal is to remove all that moisture. So all that steam you see, that's moisture being deep fried out of the potato. So it's not gonna get really that crispy. Then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and put it on this rack and let it rest and then do that for the full tray. So normally I just buy organic frozen French fries, but I was looking at the ingredients and there's all kinds of other things inside of the package are listed on the ingredients label, like seed oils. I totally get it why someone that's allergic to a whole bunch of stuff couldn't eat something like that, which I always thought was a pretty good quality potato. So this is the cleanest you'll ever get. Freshly cut Yukon gold potatoes with beef tallow. That's what it looks like, by the way. Fun fact, McDonald's used to use beef tallow back in the day, so you could say it was a healthier French fry, obviously in moderation, but now they're using whatever. I don't even know. I don't even think about it for myself. We just eat it, but not very often. It is nice once I'm all getting to cook the kids French fries. All right, gonna go ahead and continue cooking these because it's cold outside and these fries have been sitting in cold water. They are taking a little bit longer to fry. Timer went off. I'm gonna go ahead and check these. For these potatoes, they just need to be fork tender, which they do not feel fork tender, so they need to be in there longer, which I'm actually kind of surprised. I am gonna go ahead and turn all these over. They're getting there though. We're gonna put them back in the oven, probably for another, I'll say 15 minutes. So it's a little windy out here, so I have this aluminum wall thing that I bought at Daiso. Once your fries are nice and cool, you can go ahead and dump them into the oil again. But the oil is at 380 degrees. I'm shooting for 375, but because it's cold out here, I want it to start a little bit higher. So now we're gonna get them nice and crispy. So make sure your oil is super hot. At this point, you really should just stay put and keep an eye on this because you wanna catch them when they're cooked, but you have to make sure they're stirred around. It smells really good. Oh yeah, these are definitely done. Definitely, definitely done. Now this is a test right here. Let's see if they're crispy. Woo! Not as crispy as I want them, but we'll take it. I may actually deep fry these one more time. I'm gonna let them cool down first, so do the next batch. Third fry. Mmm. 
steak and frites. Look at that. It's actually the next day right now. Uh, I got so busy entertaining my guests that I didn't even really eat. I obviously did not vlog, but these are the leftovers of the french fries, which are very crispy if you can hear it. Mm, see how they're kind of dark? I had to triple fry it to get it really crispy because typically I'll prep them the day before, let them be in the freezer. Well, funny enough, I did actually put them in the freezer last night, but I still had to triple fry them. They've kind of lost all of its Yukon Goldiness, but they're delicious. So crispy, but still got chew. The steak, oh my gosh. Mm. Always buy frozen french fries, which are convenient, but believe it or not, even on the organic french fries, there's something on them, some kind of seed oils, which I'm not uh, like opposed to, but if you want the best quality, healthier french fries, cut them yourself. Deep fry it in beef tallow. Yesterday, those smashed potatoes, especially because of Yukon Golds, had a butteriness to it, flavor to it, that you can't get with a russet potato, so it was nice, I'm glad. Matt said I should've got russets for the fries, which I agree with, but if I'm gonna do the smashed potatoes, roasting them off, smashing them, and then pan frying them in beef tallow, especially because I've got it, that's the way to go. Anyways, you guys, I hope you try this if you have the time. Um, and the ability to do it, so worth it. All the kids, they inhaled the french fries. That's one reason I didn't even get to vlog it because it didn't last very long. Everybody liked the steak and the potatoes were all gone by the end of the meal. So I showed you guys how they looked, um, but I was just so busy cooking for people. And I love when people not only enjoy it, they realize, wow, this is something you could totally do at home. I could do it, but also they understand that it's all natural and it's much better for you that way. And frankly, Tastes better too. Hopefully Judy likes this little late night snack. <laughs>